Good morning, trombonist. This is Mrs. Cook. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to give your trombone a bath. And I'm glad that people enjoyed my trumpet video that I made the other day. And it, sometimes I know it helps for kids and parents to just see somebody going through the whole process and it just kind of takes the mystery out of it. And you'll find with trombone, because it doesn't have the valves to work around, that it's super simple to give a bath. There's just really not a whole lot to it. It's easy. So let's get started. So here we are, as crazy as it sounds, we are in the bathroom. That's where we give our trombones a bath. Um, the reason why is because it's a larger instrument. It definitely won't fit in your sink. You need, you need that room to give it a bath. Um, so I will fill up my bathtub with lukewarm water. And that just means water that is not too hot, not too cold. If you use really hot water, that can actually damage your lacquer. So just probably a little bit, a little bit less warm than what you'd wash dishes with. Um, and then I just use a uh, dish soap, like I'm washing dishes. Um, I use Dawn, but you, any type of dish soap will work. Okay, so the brushes that I use to, to clean my trombone with are a snake brush, which is what they're called. And they have these, it's kind of a flexible brush and it has these little um, bristles on the end. Um, a lot of your instruments that you've rented from music stores actually come with a care kit that includes this. Um, if you don't have that, um, you can go online and just search for trombone cleaning snake. You'll, these come in so handy and you'll use it a lot. And they're not, not very expensive. The second brush that we'll use is, excuse me, is a mouthpiece brush and you'll see it's kind of thicker on the bottom and then more narrow at the top that is your mouthpiece brush and again that comes in your care kit i also bring out my trumpet valve cleaning brush i use that in a couple of the parts probably the care kits don't have these but it's not a big deal if you if they don't if you don't have one um and then you'll also need a washcloth to wash off the outside of your trombone and you'll want to use a little bit darker colored washcloth and towels for this just in case you get a little bit of that um, tuning slide grease on it. It just washes up easier. And then I see I've got my dark colored towels over there. And then after your trombone's all dry and you're ready to put it back together, you'll need um, slide grease or whatever product you use. And then you'll also need tuning slide grease. And a lot of your care kits included this if you had one of those. Um, if you don't have tuning slide grease, you can also substitute Vaseline. A lot of people have Vaseline at home and I've used that before and, it's, and it works just fine. Um, trombonist, make sure that you have tuning slide grease because there's also a similar container that looks a lot like this, only it's just a little bit bigger that says slide grease, not tuning slide grease, slide grease. Slide grease is something different. Um, that's something that you put on your slide <clears throat> instead of oil. So you'll want, for this process, you want tuning slide grease. So make sure it says it on the container. And I think we're ready to go. Okay, so we're back. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention is that before you fill up your bathtub with water, Make sure that the bathtub is clean. You'll want to scrub that just to make sure that there's any, um, you don't want any uh, dirt or sand to get on your slide. Um, and you want to do this about twice a year to keep it clean and keep the slide running smoothly. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take the trombone apart. I'm going to gently set my slide down in the water like this. And, um, if you have a bath mat to put on the bottom, that's great. I don't have one, so I'm gonna be extra gentle. Okay, so piece of cake there. And then the bell section, you need to take off your tuning slide from the bell. And you'll set it all gently in the water. Let things soak. And then the last thing you set in there is the mouthpiece. Okay. So I'm gonna kind of wipe things down a little bit, get everything wet. Okay, this should go pretty fast. 
Okay, I'm gonna do the slide first. First, I'm gonna take my washcloth and wipe off the outside, get any residue from the oil or whatever product that you use on your slide. Kind of just... Okay, then I'm gonna grab my snake brush. And when you play your trombone, a lot of times, this is where um, uh, debris will uh, collect because anytime you, uh, you eat or you drink stuff during the day, um, that little particle, little particles of it kind of hang out in your mouth. And when you play your instrument, you, you blow those in there. That's why it's a good idea, um, to not, um, eat or drink like sugary stuff while you're, while you're playing your instrument, like in pep band and stuff like that. Or if you do, uh, eat something, make sure you just get a drink of water and rinse out your mouth. Anyway, so anyway, this is where uh, most of the stuff collects in your instrument. So you want to take your snake and run it inside the tubing. Run it all the way through. Kind of set it down in the water too while you're doing that. And I'll probably do that a couple of times just to get that area really good. Okay, and I'll do the other side. See that there's stuff I'm getting out with it. That's good. That's why we do this. Okay, that part's pretty much done. I'm just gonna set it in the back in the water so I'm ready to rinse. as I can so it goes around the crook. Okay, so I've done that a couple times. We'll rinse, make sure I dip it in the water and kind of empty out anything that's gotten loosened up in there. We'll skip that back in the water, let it soak a little bit longer. There it is, okay. I'm gonna take this part, the tuning slide, wipe off everything, wipe off the old grease, the tuning slide grease from there, wipe off the outside. Now I have this other brush that I have, I use with my trumpet, and I'm gonna, since it's a little bit bigger, I'm gonna slide that in there. And if you don't have one of these, it's not a big deal. It's just a little extra. Since I have a bigger brush, I do that. Or you can also take your your snake brush in that smaller one. Okay, that's pretty clean. Set that back in there to soak. And I'll do my bell section. First, I'll wipe it off with a washcloth. Get all the smudges and oil from my hands that have built up. Do the inside of the bell too, as far as I can reach. I'm gonna do my snake inside this part. It doesn't really do a whole lot because it's not very thick, but it's it's something at least. I can use this brush if I've got, if you've got that. Okay. Let that soak another second. Last part I'm gonna do is the mouthpiece. Now the mouthpiece, I would do that more than twice a year because this is kind of the part that gets the most dirty because you um, use it every day. Or if you've been uh, sick or had a cold or the flu, you wanna always you wanna clean that again. Okay, so you just take your mouthpiece brush and work it inside there. Do that a couple times. If you don't have a mouthpiece brush, I've even used a Q-tip before. I used to not have one of these growing up, so I just used a Q-tip every once in a while to get inside there. And take your washcloth. Wipe it off really good. As 
So that goes a lot faster than the trumpet. There's just not as many parts. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse off all the soap. And I'm gonna set the parts over on a towel to drain. You have a cup for things that don't fit under the faucet. I'm gonna find a safe way to set that up so that it drains. So make sure your pet or your little brother or sister isn't going to knock it over. Okay, so I set that in a safe spot. Um, I would probably let that drain out and dry for a couple hours. Now for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna kind of wipe things off to show you how to re-grease the tuning slide. Again, be careful how you set these things that somebody's not gonna accidentally knock over your slide. Okay. So I'm going to use my tuning slide grease or Vaseline if you don't have this right there. Make sure it says tuning slide grease, not slide grease. Wipe my tuning slide off since it's still a little wet. Again, you want to let this all dry out. You don't want to put your trombone inside the case wet. So I'm going to so take a little bit of the slide grease on my finger. I'll do each part there. It doesn't take a whole lot. You don't have to get too crazy. And I'll take each part, kind of work it like that. Okay, then once I've done each side, you kind of have to do the big part first and then put it back in. Then you'll take a Kleenex and there's always a little bit of extra grease that builds up along the side and you can just take a Kleenex and wipe that extra off. <clears throat> and then trombonist, you are probably already know how to re-oil re your slides, so I'm not gonna show you how to do this. I do wanna say there's, there's different things that you can put on your trombone slide. There's oil, there's cream, there's, um, maybe your high schoolers might use Slido mix. Anytime you switch product with your slide, you have to give your trombone a bath because slide oil and slide cream, not tuning slide, not tuning slide cream like this, but the oil and, and slide cream don't mix together and they'll actually like build up and get all sticky. And um, so you wanna make sure you give your trombone a bath anytime you're switching products from like oil to cream. Um, 
And I think that's just about it. But that's something you can talk to your band director about if you wanna, wanna do that. Mainly with my younger kids, we just use oil because it's simpler. Anyway, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much.